In 2017's Cars 3, the iconic Piston Cup race saw six of its classic sponsors from the first movie replaced with six entirely new ones. What happened to these six missing sponsors? Did the companies go out of business or did they rename themselves? In this video, we're going to try and figure out what exactly happened to each and every one of them with the help of some amazing artwork depicting what the missing next gen racers could have looked like in Cars 3. These stunning designs were done by Thomas Hatfield, a friend of mine and fan of the channel. Thank you so much, Thomas, for letting me share your illustrations to the Cars community here on YouTube. I think everyone's going to love them and definitely check out his design portfolio. The link to it will be in the description below. He's done a ton of other cool things as well that you should absolutely check out. Now, I did do a similar video in the past featuring Lumbud84's take on these missing racers. And if you haven't seen it, check it out in the description below or the card suggestion pop up in the top right hand corner. To give you some background on the topic, essentially the Cars 1 sponsors Hostile Takeover Bank, Retread, Fiber Fuel, Shifty Drug, Sidewall Shine, and Taco Mint were replaced by Cars 3's Igniter, Triple Dent, Intersection, Carbon Cyber, Synergy, and Combustor. So I have nothing against the new sponsors in Cars 3 whatsoever, but it's interesting to think about what happened to the other ones. All right, so we're going to get right into things and start with Retread, one of my personal favorite sponsors from the first Cars movie that unfortunately we didn't see in Cars 3. Now, Thomas gave unique names to all of these racers, so that's what we'll be calling them from here on out in future videos as well. I think it'd be cool to think of these as canon to the movies, but you know maybe they appear after the events of Cars 3. So let's say, for example, Sputterstop decides not to race a car in the next season that we don't see in Cars 3. So then Retread or someone else can pop in, and that makes perfect sense. I mean, it is plausible that companies do not race a car every single season, even though it is, you know, kind of unlikely for cars, but it's something to think about. So the next gen retread here is Jen Skidmore, one of the few females racing in the Piston Cup along with Cruz Ramirez. Now, I absolutely love this design for the main reason that it maintains the purple and red color scheme that Hall Ingas had in Cars 1. Some of the next gen's designs differ so much from their original paint jobs like Rev and Go, which makes them a little bit disappointing and non-nostalgic, at least in my opinion. You can see here with Jen, the dark purple sections are made to look like treads, which gives it an awesome effect. I also love the backwards R in the name, giving it a modern feel. The purple and red rims are a nice callback to Hall's rims too. So now the question is, what happened to retread in Cars 3? Retread is a tire deodorant, so as much as I hate to admit it, I think they went out of business because of competition with Spearmint, which is also a tire freshener. Next up is Reg Remington for Shifty Drug. Now you may be wondering why it says RX instead of drug. Basically in Latin, RX means prescription or recipe, which correlates to medicine and drugs. So emphasizing the modernity of the next gens, Thomas simplified the name as with you know many of the other next gens in Cars 3. So I love that. I love that choice a lot. And I also love the bright pink and yellow color scheme. It's a good contrast from all the overwhelming blue and green we see in most of the Cars 3 next gens. So why was Reg not in Cars 3? Did Shifty Drug shut down as a company? As with Retread, it's definitely a possibility. I believe that it's much more of a possibility even with this one because of the fact that there are even more drug-related sponsors in the movie that did end up showing up in Cars 3, like Gasprin, so that's Hoodache Relief, and Revengo, which is Carburetor Decongestant. Now, obviously, there are a ton of other drugs out there that cars would need, and Shifty Drug is more of a general drug company versus the specialities of the aforementioned sponsors. But to me, it seems that if there are three big drug companies out there that are large enough to have a stake in the Piston Cup in Cars 1, one of them is bound to go out of business eventually. 
However, it's possible they can come back and Reg actually does make a appearance in the race in the future. Moving on to Jordan Stovebolt for Sidewall Shine. Out of the missing sponsors in Cars 3, this one is my least favorite, but I do love this next-gen illustration. Jordan has a mainly black and gray design with some yellow flares that really stand out like the spoiler. My favorite part is the little SS we see on Jordan's hood, standing, of course, for Sidewall Shine. Now, Sidewall Shine is a wax for the walls of a tire to make them look good and shiny, of course. Did they go out of business, though? Well, I believe there was a Cars 3 book somewhere that does show a Sidewall Shine stock car, meaning the company did make it to at least the beginning of Cars 3 or just before it, but chose not to race during the movie. Or, of course, there's the possibility that they went out of business just before the events of Cars 3. I don't have a good pick of this, though, and it may not even be canon to the movie, so it's hard to say, but I'm going to go with that explanation that they simply chose not to race during the seasons in Cars 3. Next up is Fiber Fuel, named Check Kerber. So this is Brush Kerber's son. Of course, Brush was a stock car in Cars 1 for Fiber Fuel. Thomas took a different approach to this sponsor by darkening the colors and adding a maroon to the paint scheme, which I find amazing. It works so well with the golden tan and looks very modern. I also love the wheat on the side, similar to the brushes design. Now, there's a lot to speculate on for the fate of Fiber Fuel because one of the brand new sponsors in Cars 3, Synergy, is very similar. Synergy is a synthetic fuel, and Fiber Fuel is a healthy wheat-made fuel. Both are innovative takes on fuel, but could they both survive? Instead of the popular theory that Synergy is an entire, like a complete rebranding of Fiber Fuel, I argue that Synergy actually pushed Fiber Fuel out of business due to its increasing popularity. Maybe in the future, though, Fiber Fuel can come back and give Chuck Kerber a shot to race. Now, on to my absolute favorite sponsor from Cars, Taco Mint. Name is Noel Spiller here. I really like the wispy frosting throughout the body and the fact that Thomas made the O in Taco Mint made to look like a tachometer, which is a gauge measuring the working speed of an engine used in cars. It took me a bit to figure that one out, though, I have to be honest. Now, I am an avid believer that Taco Mint took off a couple seasons. Just please let me believe this. It's such a unique and amazing sponsor that it couldn't have gone out of business, right? I mean, I am biased and maybe I just don't want to think they did close down because let's be honest, it is plausible. With the competition from Triple Dent, which is a mint gum, what do you guys think though? Let me know your thoughts on all of these in the comment section below. What do you think happened to them and what do you think of Hatfield's designs? I really want them all to survive, to be honest, but it's just not exactly realistic. Now, moving on to the last sponsor, the one I wouldn't mind if it failed, HTB, Hostile Takeover Bank. Chick Hicks is sponsor, of course, and what do you know, his son is taking up the mantle for Chick, Nick Hicks. First of all, gotta say I love how the three balloons were simplified to three circles, the stripes also are super sleek and the yellow rims provide great contrast and of course, you know, relate back to Chick's rims. Despite all of this, I do feel that HTB failed because of the bad reputation Chick Hicks gave it in Cars 1 for his actions during the Pissing Cup and the fact that one of the new sponsors, Combustor, is an online banking system. HTB was also a bank. So yeah, guys, those are all the sponsors. Let me know your thoughts. I'm going to quickly rank them here just off the top of my head. My favorite is definitely Taco Mint, followed up by Retread. Then I'd say Fiber Fuel, then Shifty Drug, then HTB, then Sidewall Shine. Those are my rankings for Thomas's designs. I hope you guys enjoyed them and liked the design as well. Thank you, Thomas. I really appreciate you letting me show off your amazing depictions to the world. I mean, these are just phenomenal. They just look so realistic, like concept art that was just unused for Cars 3. I wouldn't be surprised if it was, honestly. I will see you guys soon, though, for another video. Bye now.